everyone welcome back to my channel it has been a while well it's been a while for me at least since i filmed the video i just uploaded a video a couple weeks ago a week ago i don't know if you watched my previous video you would know that i have officially moved to my own apartment and I don't know if you can see behind me, but not only did I get my uh, figures unboxed, which took an <laughs> annoying amount of time and patience, but I also got two new uh, bookshelves to spread out my figures. So um, if like the shelf looks a little empty, it's not because I sold anything or got rid of anything. Uh, I just was able to spread my collection out a bit more. A lot of the stuff is kind of the same as it was in my previous uh, place, but I, I was able to like spread out some. But anyways, oh, this is so exciting. God, I'm probably going to be so rusty. But anyways, we are going to do an unboxing to celebrate. I got a few things to unbox for you guys, so I'll probably do a second video after this one. Today, we are unboxing a Bungo Stray Dogs figure it's an unlicensed figure by Chang Studios I think it is and I already own the Chuya version so if this box looks familiar that's why it's because I did an unboxing of the Chuya figure of this and in that video I stated that I did not like how um from the photos uh the prototype photos I did not like how Dazai looked and after that video maybe like a few weeks later, maybe a month later, I don't know, to be honest, it was after the video. I saw a TikTok of this dude unboxing both Chuya and Dazai and he doesn't look, Dazai doesn't look great in it, okay? But also he doesn't look horrible and when you put them together, he does look slightly better. Like if you were to buy Dazai alone, I don't think besides like his outfit and like the apple in his hand that he's going to have, I, I don't think you'd be able to tell who he is unless you get like the dead apple reference. So I, I wanted to give it a chance and I could not find it anywhere. Cause usually with these unlicensed figures, once they're, the pre-orders are closed and once they're like gone, they're they're gone for good. Um, at least for the Bungo Stray Dogs is what I've noticed. And then miraculously I found a site selling them and it was the last one. And I just, I just said, okay. We'll give it a shot. Enough of my rambling. It's so good to see you guys again. Um, and please make sure you like, subscribe, and make sure you follow my Instagram. I have been posting uh, reels on there. I've been trying to get into like the whole reels realm. Uh, I don't know. It's okay. I'm not doing that great. But I've also, while I was away, I've been trying to like just upload shorts. So I. So I've been gone, but I've tried to like sneak in some content somehow for you guys in some way. Let's let's get started. This is so exciting. I always have to remind myself that I have to be more careful with these. Also, I'm still trying to figure out the lighting, y'all. So I got one window in here and it's been raining all day. So forgive me, but um, I always forget that I need to be more careful with these figures than uh, other figures just because this is resin and it's so fragile uh, but here we go here is his body and his body is given I mean kind of <laughs> but I mean the, the waist is giving right okay I found his head here it is he looks a little angry but that's okay all right, I'm gonna put him on. And then just like Chuya's, ugh, I hate this number. Okay, just like Chuya's, Dazai's comes with this little plaque. And this has the number, because these are like limited edition, I guess, or yeah, there's a limited number made or something like that, I don't know. Um, I have number 41 out of 60 wish it was number 40 like a good even number but i'm i'm not complaining at least i found him <laughs> i found the apple he's supposed to be holding let's attach that and again this concept is supposed to follow the dead apple movie see like 
this magnet feels a little loose like it doesn't even feel like there's a magnet in there to be honest but i'm sure there is it just feels like really loose i wonder if i yeah like if i shake it it won't come off do you see that but attaching it like and detaching it it does come off really easily anyways and then there's like this little slit in here you guys probably can't see it like right there and that's where the dagger is supposed to go also from the movie and i think that's the same dagger that like stabs fyodor stabs dazai in the back with near the end here's the dagger so i initially got a little bit scared because i thought it's it, it broke <laughs> and i couldn't find the other like broken piece but it is not actually broken it comes like this so because again you're supposed to be like sticking this dagger into the apple like so pretty cool so he does have his like long coat from the movie but i want to wait on putting this on him until i have him uh stable on the base because i think this just like plops on him and here it is here's his base uh, on the back it says no longer human and his is blue so uh chuya's was red and dazai's was blue is blue <laughs> so they each get their own colors so let's go ahead and put him on here it looks like he only has one foot that goes in a pet or in a in the hole of the base I don't remember, I think Chuya's had two, but I might be mistaken. I don't know why I feel like Chuya's has two. Oh, he's right there too. There you go, there he is. Okay, so there he is on his base. Uh, let me just see if there are any more pieces that I'm missing before I put on the coat. I feel like the coat is going to be like the final, the finale, you know? Okay, well this is part of his coat. It's like the back. Okay, so like that. Okay, and now for the finale. All right, there we go. There he is. Looking dapper as ever. Now we are going to move on to my thoughts and do a little B-roll. Um, little warning, I don't know where I'm gonna do my B-roll in this apartment. So again, if B-roll is a little rusty, rustier than it already has been in the past, I apologize, I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> so, um, but anyways, let's move on to my thoughts and B-roll. Let's start off with the main thing, the main issue I had before I even got him, which was his face and how um, similar he actually looks to compared to Dazai in the anime. He doesn't look as bad here. And I think I said the same thing when I bought Chuya and I voice the same concern. I even voice the same concern about how they look on the prototype, how both of them look on the prototype, prototype photo um, versus like in person. So when I bought Chuya, Chuya's prototype photo looks a bit waxy and like so shiny and it looked very cheap and fake and I don't know, very waxy. That's like the best way I can describe it. But then when I got got the figure in and unboxed him, it wasn't as waxy and it didn't have like that super shine to it that just made it look very fake. It looked more real, and I quote, realistic. I was a little bit more worried about Dazai's because Dazai's in the prototype photo looked more waxy. It's like I was overthinking it and he doesn't look like he has an overly waxy look to him. He looks pretty clean and pretty good. Um, I will say, and I will put this out there right now, I do still like Chuya's much better. He just overall looks like Chuya more and the colors are much better. And yeah, just overall it's done. It, it, it was executed much better. But I do, I do like Dazai's a lot more than I mentioned in my Chuya unboxing video. I, I have started to change my mind a bit. Um, there are still some concerns like I think the expression and maybe the structure of his face makes him look a little bit less like Dazai. Now don't get me wrong, Dazai does make serious faces, like especially in the Dead Apple movie, right? But I I guess then, I guess it would be then his face, facial structure 
And I think maybe another part of it is the shade of his hair. Maybe it's too dark. Maybe it's like too closer to black than the actual brown that he has in the anime. These are very, even though these are like subtle things and subtle changes that can be made, there's subtle changes that would make a world of difference. You know what I mean? I, I think that's the main part of it because I'm the coat, the clothing, everything matches Dead Apple. Uh, he's got the dagger, he's got the apple, he's got the hairstyle. It's not the hairstyle for sure. Maybe the only thing about the hairstyle that kind of adds a unfamiliar aspect to who this might be is there's nowhere in the anime and nowhere in the manga that you see Dazai with this hairstyle. It's this like one isolated moment in Dead Apple that he has it. And yeah, it's like if you don't remember that movie or if you remember the movie but you don't remember Dazai's like complete look in the movie or if you just, some people straight up skip that part of the, that part of the anime. Like they don't watch the Dead Apple movie and some people are just like manga readers. You might not recognize him right away, you know? But again, he does not look as bad as the prototype photo, which I'm very grateful for. In terms of shading and stuff, there's not a lot. Again, I really do think Chuya's, I mean, there is in his clothes some form of shading, but I'm mainly kind of talking about his hair and his face and like his skin overall, I guess. Not much very minimal not even in his shoes even the apple doesn't have a lot of shading i think like the most realistic thing here is the dagger like his tie doesn't even have it either anyways so yeah overall chuya's is much better in shading i think as well my other concern was the base and how he's standing on the base so he's only standing on one peg the only thing is and i don't know if the camera's going to be able to pick this up in the b-roll but it doesn't look like he's fully leveled on the base it kind of looks like the foot that's not inside the hole that the peg goes in is floating it's not sitting flush with the base but yeah in terms of like his pose and everything and like the idea I, I dig it. I think he looks so cool. I love that his hands are in his pockets. Actually, I just realized his hand being in his pocket matches the Chuya ones. They're kind of posing similarly. They're so cool. They're such dorks though. Um, yeah, and I like that. I love that. I do love that with Dazai, with his hands in his pockets, you can see his fingers like the, the indent of his fingers or the imprint of his, the rest of his fingers that are inside and hidden in the pocket come out uh, on his pants. I think it's so cool. It's such a great detail. Um, I mean, they could have smoothed that area out and I've seen that done before in other figures, but this is one attention to detail that they did not miss. And I think it's very, like it's easy to miss, but it's still very cool. One other thing I wanted to mention that's kind of bothering me is the robe that's supposed to attach to his coat. I don't know if you can see it, because I don't think you'll be able to tell him the B-roll, but it's very loose, like it does not attach. I don't know why they wouldn't put a magnet on that area, but like a very small magnet, even if it's a little bit weak, I think it would attach better because it looks like the hole they made is too large for the peg. Yeah, so overall, I think he's pretty neat and I think I l love him more next to Chuya, so I'm gonna put him next to Chuya and we'll see how these two figures come together. That was the Bungo Stray Dogs Dead Apple Dazai by Chang Studios. I think it's like closest to a 1-6. I can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure it's like a 1-6 scale. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's good to be back. Hopefully I wasn't too rusty and hopefully I can record a good B-roll. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye guys.